Yeah, that's um that's a really a good example there why we don't want to be in those gullies you get those gullies and then they get filled with uh, loose gravel and you go in them and you know it's it's just not packed you know it's just gonna immediately be squirrely on you the best thing is to not go in them at all but then you want to carefully get out of them if you do Oop, don't want to be in that gully Yeah, um, finding the line on gravel can be interesting. Flat, flat gravel road versus uphill and downhill elements on gravel are going to be different too because of the gravity involved. It's a baby groundhog. Thing was the size of a guinea pig. So I'm actually in a bad position, lane position wise right now, um, because this is where the rut would occur if, if, if there's gonna be a rut happening. But right now it's actually light on loose gravel. So it's a pretty good place to be for now. Looking for that uh, nice bright tan that uh, tells you that there's hard pack beneath the gravel. That's what you want to aim for is the hard pack. Last thing you want is soft pack with depth. Soft pack, you know, just scattered over top of hard pack. You know, you still have hard pack underneath, so, you know, as long as you don't slide, you're fine. But. Yeah, soft with depth is terrible. You get a sandbox when, when you get a filled in gully. Filled in rut. You don't want to go into a sandbox.
find the best line that can support your speed and the conditions. That's a good looking line right there. You have to read the road to ride the road. You gotta read the road. Oh. You also gotta pay attention to whether your blinker's been on for the past mile or not. My oh, golly, new construction think there was room for anything new around here. They take something old down? Well, I don't know. To look at old videos to find out. Beyond Burger and do it as a cheeseburger. I'm gonna have it with a beer and some potato chips on my own back porch when I get home. It's gonna be really good. And it's sad when you're thinking about food instead of the ride, but sometimes it comes to it. Towards the end of the ride, you're wondering when the next food's going in. So, you know, out of the sake of uh, respect and uh, you know being able to edit this down for different audiences and so forth, I've been holding back on explaining uh, part of what's been going on this ride. And part of what's been going on this ride is something we'll just refer to as the Cholula Challenge, meaning. Uh, yeah, I put a lot of hot sauce on my food before I got on the bike. And uh, now that we're dangerously close to the end of this epic journey, I feel safe enough to, to mention to the audience and tentatively brag that it has gone well, despite in taking a large quantity of Cholula in the food. Okay, here we go. Now, I don't want that to cause any jinx. And I'm not boasting when I say that the Cholula challenge seems to have been passed. For I would not anger the Cholula gods or goddesses. I think it's only the one goddess, isn't it? I don't know. It's a lot of sumac. Turn signals off.
Okay, so now we're actually in the bottom of the bars on here. So, uh, uh, I don't know whether that is uh, four bars or what, but we're in the bottom half of the bars and that is where the OEM was when we left. So, even though we are at the bottom of our range or our battery, uh, our battery capacity, we're in the bottom half of it. Uh, we're now getting joined by our third member, the OEM. So, my horses are tired, but now there's three of them instead of two. I never met a four I didn't like. Some fives are difficult to get along with, but I never met a four I didn't like. This is exactly, that's where the rut is. Do you see that rut? Right down there. Right immediately to my right. That's the last thing you want to be on, is that rut. Because that's where loose gravel collects. And then you have loose gravel with some depth to it, and that's really dangerous. Okay. You can take a little speed here, because uh, look how clean the hard pack is. Let's see, we're coming right up on this uh, angle. You want to make it through on clean surface as much as possible. Again, can take some speed on this clean hard pack. Perfectly fine to take speed on clean hard pack, but it ends on you suddenly. Look, got to thread that needle there. There's another needle I can thread. But look, under the bridge we get uh, hard pan. That's not hard pack. That's that's hard pan or, or uh, washboard rather. Washboard. Do you see the washboard? You know, going uh, laterally across. And then with that washboard, we got, you know, some layer of loose. Washboard itself is not a problem uh, because it functions, you know, for your tires, it's going to feel a lot like um, those speed strips on the sides of the highways. You know, it's just going to brrrr um, a bit. But uh, the thing about washboard is, uh, again, it's going gonna, it's gonna to collect loose gravel. Because your loose gravel is going to hit that washboard when it's flowing around on the road, when, when there's moisture, when there's water running. And uh, it's going to hit the washboard, and it's going to be like, ah, stay here. And then you get a, a strip of loose gravel along top of your washboard. But again, it's it, that, like back there, it's usually fairly light. And uh, if you can still see hard pack underneath your gravel, your gravel's probably okay. If you can no longer see um, hard pack, you know, which is generally going to be a lighter color, a lighter color, kind of closer to khaki, as opposed to the earthier color of uh, deeper gravel. You see that lighter color, you're okay. If it's covered up, uh, then it all depends on how dark it looks, honestly. Of course, all this will depend also on whether there's moisture and weather and stuff, you know, because rain's going to make everything darker. But when it's dry, it's pretty easy to tell your hard pack by how light it is. Nice light khaki look to it, usually. back to the safety of the park and ride at exit 11 in the People's Republic of Vermont 
This has been episode six of Electric Goat Rodeo. I am your rider, Unknown Jerome. Our host, Shelby the Goat, will be joining us soon. He's uh, He's been uh, really reluctant to come out of the uh, tank bag lately. And uh, a lot of it started when we went through that thunderstorm last week. Um, but we've been talking about it. Shelby. Hey, Shelby, that's the episode. You want to come out? No. You see, he's still... He, he doesn't want to come out. We'll get him out, though. Hopefully when it's not so hot. And I'm not already questioning uh, various aspects of my life choices. Uh, <clears throat> oh, there's some bike action down there. I gotta go and get uh, some beer and maybe some ketchup to go on my Beyond Burger. Hope you like stopping. You like stopping? No, you're Massachusetts. You don't like stopping. God, they are open. <laughs> 